you must always clean your burette with whatever it is that you're going to fill it with. In this case, I'm going to fill my burette during this titration with hydrochloric acid. So that's exactly what I'm going to fill it with. I've unclamped it. I'm also going to check that my uh, stopcock is in the closed position. When the handles on the stopcock are horizontal, that is the closed position. If it's ever vertical, that's the open position and liquid will begin to drain. Um, I'm going to use my large beaker here as a waste bucket. And the first thing I'm going to do is just open up the stopcock and close it a bit just to, um, just to make sure that any liquid in there can drain before I clean the burette. At the same time, by doing this, I can also check the tightness um, of the stopcock and you can make it tighter or looser by altering this little bit here. But do note, if it is too tight, it's going to be really hard to um, squeeze out um, individual drops during your titration. If it's too loose, you're going to find that liquid's going to be leaking out as well. So you want to find a compromise. And generally, it's somewhere where, you're, where, it's, where it's quite comfortable. Okay. Um, to clean this out with the solution I'm filling it with, since I am filling it with hydrochloric acid, I'm going to put my funnel over the top. I'm going to check that it's in the closed position because the last thing I want is to fill liquid in this burette, have it in the open position, and then have liquid falling out as I'm filling it, and I'm going to get a spill everywhere. So check that it's closed or move it to closed. I'm going to hold my burette in one hand, and at the same time, I'm going to place my funnel over the top, and I just lift my funnel above my burette just a little bit so I don't create um, any pressure inside my burette. Since I am going to fill it with hydrochloric acid, we're just going to use a very small volume. So just a single touch and go will do. I'm going to bring my um, burette over to my waste bucket and I'm just going to open my burette tap down here. And by doing so, I can pass acid through um, the tip of that burette and that just helps rinse that place out. I'm going to turn my stopcock in both directions just to give it a full rinse. I'm then going to move my burette horizontally and I've still got some hydrochloric acid left at the end of my burette. I'm going to tilt my burette back and forth to run that liquid um, up and down along the length of that burette. At the same time, I am actually going to rotate my burette and I'm going to try and rinse as much of that wall as I can. Then I'm going to tilt it upside down, open the top and let that drain into my waste beaker. I'm going to have to rinse this out a total of about three times. So two more times. Remember, check that it's closed. Burette's in one hand with a funnel that's not resting in there. Hold it up just a little bit. And we're filling it with hydrochloric acid. So we rinse with hydrochloric acid. Don't need too much. So just tap and go. Excellent. Just like before, we are going to bring this over to our waste bucket, open the tap both ways to give it a good rinse, and we're going to run that solution along the length. As I'm holding this burette, I'm using two hands in this case. My eyes are constantly scanning along the full length of this burette just to make sure that I don't get any random accidents or spills. Drain it out, open the tap at the top, let that run one more time. Funnel in at the top, not resting. Hydrochloric acid, just a wee bit. We don't want to use too much, especially if you're in an assessment. You might not be allowed to get refills depending on the school you're at. Open both ways and tilt on the side, rotate, move that liquid back and forth along the length. Remember to scan the length with your eyes so you don't get random uh, spills. Out one end, open it up and let that drain. At this point your burette is now clean. I'm going to move my stopcock to the closed position because I'm now going to clamp it back up. But before I do that, I'm actually going to prepare my burette ready for titration. So I'm actually going to fill it, I'm actually going to fill it up with hydrochloric acid. So to fill it up, I do the same thing as I did before, except instead of tap and go with my hydrochloric acid, I am going to um, fill it up somewhere close to the top. When I'm doing that, 
I'm not actually going to waste my time trying to get it to zero. Now the only risk when you're filling up your burette is that you need to make sure that your stopcock is in the closed position. If it's open, you're just going to get a big mess and a big spill where your feet are. The other risk is that sometimes with these funnels, you actually get a really long neck. Now the reason why that's a bit of a worry is because when you have a really long neck sticking out the side, sometimes you can get um, a lot of liquid that ends up being trapped in that funnel and then when you take the funnel out you end up getting a spill and a mess. The last thing we really want is if during our titration this part becomes wet and starts dripping stuff all over the flask that we're using. So just to make sure everything's nice and dry, I am actually going to use my paper towel and give the outside um, just a cautionary wipe down. I mean I can feel it's dry and I know my hands are dry, but I'm just going to give this a cautionary wipe down. I'm going to clamp up my burette. Now if you're at a nice school, you might have something called a um, burette clamp or burette holder and these are these plastic banana shaped things that just snugly clamp your burette in two places. In my case though I've just got a basic clamp so um, I just when I choose one of these clamps I just make sure that my inside is either rubber or some type of cork because that just gives it some extra grip and also cushioning. So we're going to carefully close that clamp because if it's too tight your burette will shatter, if it's too loose your burette will fall through and the last thing I guess you really want is to run a titration and then have a 50 or 60 dollar bill to replace your burette. These things, these things are not cheap for high school students, okay? Um, to check that my burette is straight I always tell people to, to look in the distance towards a wall or towards a window and find something that is straight like a pillar or um, part of like a straight bit on the window and just line it up with that. In my case though I am in a magical universe where everything is white so I'm just going to actually be very careful with how I adjust my burette. I'm going to line it up with something straight in the distance which you can't see I'm going to go from multiple angles to do this. Okay, now you'll notice that during this entire process I haven't actually let go of my burette yet and that's quite important because I'm going to do a check to make sure that my burette is actually snugly in place. To do that I'm going to give my burette a little wiggle just to make sure it's not going to fall through. I'm also going to give it a little tug just to make sure it's not going to go through. I'm going to give it a little twist just to make sure it's not going to suddenly slip as well. You'll also notice that I haven't checked the end of my burette. The only thing I have actually done is fill, filled it up to the top, but this part down here actually needs to be filled as well. Right now it's empty, right now it's just air. So I'm going to bring my waste bucket over. I'm not going to touch my waste bucket to the burette because there might be some dirty parts on my waste bucket that will touch my burette tip. I'm just going to let that drain. Okay. Now if you're, like, um, if you're like me and you have a slight bubble in your burette tap, what you can do is actually turn the stopcock rapidly back and forth and that will get rid of any bubbles. Just a cautionary wipe down. I also check at the end that I don't have a funnel left at the top of my burette. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you prepare your burette for a titration.